What up, Screen Fiends? I'm GB, and you're tuned in to Screenheads TV, where we like to discuss all the wonderful things appearing on your movie and your TV screens. In this episode, we're going to discuss a little theory of mine, um, you know, more of a, a series of observations than a theory, uh, but I had fun with it. So it's The Walking Dead. We're going to discuss Daryl and how he and Shiva, yep, that's right, Shiva, have more in common than than is in plain sight. <clears throat> All right. So I want to try and do this back to back. Like I want to try and touch on something from Shiva, something from Daryl. Um, but before I do that, I just want to get some a little obvious things out of the way. Well, things that were obvious to me anyway. Um, I'm sure some of you picked up on it too, though. All right. So we had Daryl and Shiva have their little connection at the end of last episode, episode 10. So, it led me to start thinking. Now, the obvious ones. In the Negan lineup, when they when he said, catch a tiger by the toe, who did he land on with tiger? Daryl. What? Daryl and Shiva, both tigers. Then, uh, if you go back a little further... You have in season four, I don't remember exactly which episode it was. You have Joe, I think it was claimed. You have Joe and the claimers. And he's having a conversation with Daryl. And he says, there's nothing sadder than an outdoor cat that thinks he's an indoor cat. Talking about Daryl. Now, yeah, you can look at that as normal house cats and all that, but also look at it as Shiva. What is Shiva? She's a cat. She's an outdoor cat being kept as an indoor cat. Right? She's in prison. She's in jail. She's in the zoo. So she's an outdoor cat being kept as an indoor cat. There's nothing sadder than that. Daryl's the same way. He, What Joe's trying to say is he doesn't belong civilized on the inside with normal people. He belongs out in the wild with people like Joe and the Claimers, taking whatever they want and doing whatever they want. Um, so, boom, there's another one. Daryl and Shiva, both outdoor cats, being but behaving as indoor cats. All right. Um, and now, it, just look at Daryl's face. And he's got those squinty eyes and you know he's uh he's very quiet right and he's uh he's a hunter and shiva tigers are very quiet animals they can they sneak up on their prey um they're great hunters you know they're savage beasts daryl has been known to be a savage beast um, so there's a lot of parallels there between Daryl and Shiva. If you look at Rick, a lot of the times, especially ever since they got back together at Terminus, you know, well, maybe not as much as I'd like to think, but Daryl is usually right there by Rick. His protection, his right-hand man, whatever. Now, you could say that Richard is Ezekiel's right-hand man, but... I think Shiva would be more considered his right hand. If Shiva could speak, I'm sure he'd take her advice over Richard, Benjamin, or Morgan. Um, all right, now if we go a little bit deeper and we start to go into their backstories, Shiva and Daryl, both of which have been revealed on the show, so I'm not spoiling anything unless you're not up to date with the show. <clears throat> so their backstories... I touched on this a little bit a second ago. I'm just going to say it again, though. Shiva is a jungle cat, a wild animal being kept in a cage in a zoo. Daryl is a wild animal, a wild person, whatever, that was basically tamed like Shiva and being kept in a cage with this group. Right? Take it even further back, though. Shiva was born and raised in a cage. She, you know, Ezekiel says it. I don't know if he says it on the show. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he says it on the show that he was there when she was born. So, Shiva was born in the in the zoo. 
Now, Daryl may not have been born in this situation that he's in now, where this cage, but it was a whole different cage. He was abused by his family, verbally, physically, everything. You know, his brother was a terrible influence on his life and basically pushed him to, to being the way that he is as an introvert. He's antisocial. You know, he's in that cage within himself. He's in a cage his whole life, in a cage, just like Shiva. Um, Ezekiel also talks about a time that Shiva was wounded and he helped her. Now you look at Rick and Daryl and it may not be the same kind of wound where it's a physical wound that Rick nursed Daryl back from or saved him from. But it's Daryl becoming Joe and the Claimers. Rick saved him from that. So in both aspects, the tiger... Daryl, Shiva, was saved by their, I don't want to say masters, than Daryl or Shiva's perspective, but their leader, Ezekiel and Rick, right? So there's another one, another parallel between the two. They're, both of their lives were saved by these two men. And now they owe them nothing but their loyalty. I think this is amazing. I, I'm looking at it and I'm like, my mind is blown. I don't know if you guys are going to feel the same way, but my mind is blown from this right now. And it, it just makes me want to go back and watch more Daryl stuff and see if I can pick out more and more um, connections, you know, uh, besides them both being stealthy hunters, having a similar past, both being caged wild animals um, that could snap at any moment. You know, like, it, and especially this season when Daryl is back on his aggressive shit, it's really mirroring more the tiger, you know, than he was maybe last season where he was more about trying to find people or whatever. I really like this theory. I definitely want to hear what you guys think. Um, I didn't want to make the video too long, so I'm going to cut it short there. Definitely hit me up in the comments. Show your love down below. You know the deal. I say the same thing every time. Um, if you like the video, subscribe, share, and, uh... Yeah, I definitely want to hear your thoughts, so hit me up, and I will see you guys next time. That's it for this vid.